I had some protest regarding the need to cover curing piles. Dry piles in high rainfall climates shed the water rather than absorbing it. Let's explore this further. Indeed, depending on the shape of the pile and the moisture content of the compost, the pile sheds water very well. Take a look. Since I made this pile, we had over 750 millimeter or 30 inches of rain. When the moisture content of the compost goes below 50%, it becomes very hydrophobic. It repels the water. This compost was dry, approximately 30% moisture. The compost repelled the water, forcing it to go down the side of the pile rather than down through it. Please remember that the water still runs down along and inside the pile, so the water coming off is still leachate. The risk of pollution from these piles remains. I have measured some very high fecal coliform and E. coli from large curing piles, including piles that were processing food waste. The wet cap on the top of the pile limits the ability of the pile to breathe so that the material, if it's not stable, may become more anaerobic. During the summer months, when our compost piles get dry, we like to add water. So the easiest solution is to place a sprinkler on top. You can see from this pile how well that would work. The water would just run down the side of the pile. The most efficient way to add water to composting material is to add it while mixing. My name is John Paul. I'm a waste management scientist. Thank you.